Hi, I'm Helen, and this is Story of Lazy Jack. Three, two, one, stories begun. Once upon a time, there was a lazy boy called Jack, who was sent out to work by his mother. That first day, he worked for a farmer and was given a penny at the end of the day. Mum, Mum, look what I've got! Oh, no! Jack tripped and dropped the penny into a stream. You silly boy, said his mother. You should have put the penny into your pocket. The next day, Jack went out to work for a dairy farmer and at the end of the day, he was given a jug of milk. So he put it carefully into his pocket, but by the time he walked home, the milk had spilled all down his trousers. You silly boy, said his mother. You should have put it carefully on top of your hood. So on the third day, Jack went out to work for a miller, and the miller gave him a lovely soft cream cheese for his trouble. So at the end of the day, Jack carefully put the cheese on his head and walked home. But it was a hot evening, and by the time he arrived home, the cheese had melted and matted into his hair, and it was dripping down his face. You silly boy, said his mother. You should have carried it very carefully in your hands. So, on the fourth day, Jack went out to work for a baker, and the baker gave him a tomcat for his trouble. So, Jack took the wriggling, scratching, hissing cat and tried to carefully carry it in his hands, but the cat jumped off and ran away. Oh, you silly boy, you should have taken a piece of string, tied it around the cat's neck, and carefully led it home behind you. Ah. The next day, Jack went out to work for a baker, and the baker was so pleased with his work that he gave him a huge leg of lamb, and you've guessed it, Jack tied a piece of string around the lamb and dragged it along behind him, all the way home, over the fields, through the river, until by the time he arrived back, oh, it was matted and muddy and scratched and scraped along the stones. Oh, you silly boy, said his mother. You should have carried it carefully on your shoulder. Now I've just got cabbage for lunch. So on the Monday, Jack went back out to work for a cattle farmer and was given a real life donkey as payment. And so, of course, he carefully lifted the heavy donkey and onto his shoulder and began to walk home, then over by the weight. Now on his way home, he passed a castle where a princess lived. She couldn't hear or speak and she had never smiled. But as she saw Jack walk past with his donkey, the hooves of the donkey were scrabbling in mid-air, clipping Jack about the ear. And the princess looked down and <laughs> first she began to chuckle and then... <laughs> She laughed so hard that tears dripped from her eyes. I want to get to know that man, she thought, and she did. And a few years later, the princess and Jack married. Jack's mother came to live with them and never had to worry about money ever again. But she always kept a close eye on Jack. Three, two, one, stories done. Thank you for listening.